In today's video, we're going to look at how to find the circumference and the area of a circle. First though, we need to recap a few key terms, namely circumference, diameter, and radius. The circumference of a circle is the curved line that makes up the outside boundary of the circle. Meanwhile, the diameter is a straight line that passes from one side of a circle to the other side, and importantly passes through the center. And the radius is a straight line that passes from the center of the circle to the circumference. So it's basically just half the diameter. Also, we represent the circumference with an uppercase C, the diameter with an uppercase D, and the radius with a lowercase r. Now, when it comes to actually calculating the area or circumference of a circle, all we have to do is use the formulas. For the area, the formula is A for area equals pi r squared, or pi times r squared. Meanwhile, for the circumference, we can either do circumference equals 2 pi r, so circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, or we can do circumference equals pi d, so circumference equals pi times diameter. The important thing to notice here is that these two equations for circumference both mean exactly the same thing, because 2 times the radius is the diameter. So if you have the radius, then you can use this first form, and if you have the diameter, then use the second one. To see how the equations work, let's take this circle here and try to calculate its area and circumference. We can tell from the diagram that the radius of the circle is 4 centimeters. So to calculate the area, we just take the equation a equals pi r squared and plug in the radius of 4. So area equals pi times 4 squared, which is pi times 16. If you haven't heard of pi before, it's nothing complicated, it's just a specific number. Weirdly though, it's an irrational number, so it actually goes on forever. If you have a calculator, you can just use the pi button and do pi times 16. Otherwise, we normally round it to 3.142, and so you'd have to work out 3.142 times 16 by hand, which is kind of tricky, so most of the time you just use a calculator. Either way though, we should end up with 50.3 if we round it to three significant figures. And remember, the units here would be square centimeters, because it's an area. If we move on to finding the circumference, this time we're going to have to use one of these two equations. And as we already know the radius, we may as well use the top one. Circumference equals 2 pi r. Then, like before, we just plug in our values. So circumference equals 2 times pi times 4. Which, if we put it into the calculator, equals 25.1 centimeters. Also, just to show you how it works, if you wanted to use the bottom equation, of circumference equals pi d instead, and then you'd just have to work out the diameter first. And remember that the diameter is just two times the length of the radius. So if the radius is four centimeters, then the diameter is two times four centimeters, so eight centimeters. Which means that our circumference equation now becomes c equals pi times eight, which is also 25.1 centimeters. Let's try one more before we finish, and find the area and circumference of this circle. At the moment, all we know from the diagram is that the diameter of this circle is 10 centimeters. So if we want to find the area, which is pi r squared, we're going to have to work out the radius first, which means that we're going to have to take the diameter of 10 centimeters and divide it by 2 to get a radius of 5 centimeters, because the radius is half the diameter. Then we just plug that into the formula and do area equals pi times 5 squared, which is 78.5 square centimeters. Then for the circumference, we can use either equation because we now have the radius and the diameter. But if we go for the diameter one, which is circumference equals pi d, then we just put pi times 10 into our calculator. So the circumference is 31.4 centimeters. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give us a like and subscribe, 
And remember to check out our website by clicking on the link in the top right corner of this screen. And we'll see you again soon.